I want to take a few moments to debunk 10 mythical sayings that people claim are in the Bible. The first one is, God won't give you more than you can handle. Now, I know people have been saying this forever. Truth bomb. Life often throws more at us than we can bear alone. This saying sounds comforting, but it's not in the Bible. The Bible doesn't promise life will be easy. In fact, Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 8, we were under great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure. God doesn't promise we won't face tough times. Instead, he offers his strength in our weakness and helps us through. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13, it's not about handling it solo, God is our help. Mythical saying that's not in the Bible, number two. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Truth bomb. While cleanliness might be good practice, it's not a divine command. This phrase came from John Wesley in the 1700s, not the scriptures. What God really cares about is the purity of our hearts and actions. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, James chapter 4, verse 8. Inner cleanliness comes first. Mythical saying number three. God helps those who help themselves. Truth bomb. This popular saying was coined by Benjamin Franklin, but the Bible actually emphasizes that God helps the helpless. Romans chapter 5 verse 6 reminds us that Christ died for us while we were still powerless. God's grace isn't something we earn by our own efforts. It's a gift to those who rely on him. Saying number four is undoubtedly one of the most popular. Money is the root of all evil. Truth bomb. The Bible actually says the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. First Timothy chapter six, verse 10. It's not money itself, but the obsession with it that leads to sin. Use money wisely, don't let it rule your heart. Saying number five really gets me. Hate the sin, love the sinner. Truth bomb. It was St. Augustine who first phrased it this way. While this idea reflects a biblical attitude of hating sin, it isn't a direct biblical quote. Jesus commands us to love others, Matthew chapter five, verse 44, but also warns us about sin. Love people, but don't condone wrongdoing. Saying number six is one I used to always say until I started studying the Bible. God works in mysterious ways. Truth bomb. This phrase comes from a hymn by William Cooper in the 18th century. While God's ways may indeed be beyond our understanding, this exact phrase isn't scriptural. Isaiah chapter 55. Verses 8 and 9 says, God's thoughts and ways are higher than ours. The Bible is clear about his love and purpose. FYI, the word mysterious is not in the Bible. Have you ever heard saying number seven, the lion shall lay down with the lamb? Truth bomb. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 6 says, the wolf will live with the lamb. While both are peaceful images of God's kingdom, the lion isn't mentioned in this verse. Trust and believe God's kingdom will bring ultimate peace, where even natural enemies live in harmony. Amen. Number eight, one I'm sure we've all said a time or two. This too shall pass. Truth bomb. This phrase isn't from scripture, but it is thought to have Persian origins. It's often used to encourage perseverance during tough times. While the Bible teaches patience and hope, James chapter 1 verse 12, it's God's eternal promises that we rely on. Mythical saying number nine, spare the rod, spoil the child. Truth bomb. It's not a direct Bible quote. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 24 says, whoever spares the rod hates their children, which emphasizes discipline, but it doesn't say parents should spoil their child. Loving discipline helps guide children in wisdom and faith. Mythical saying number 10. You would think you could find it in the Bible, but you won't. God wants me to be happy.
truth bomb. The Bible focuses on holiness, not happiness. God's goal for us is to be transformed into his likeness, which may not always feel happy, but is always for our good. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 to 18. True joy comes from living a life that honors God, even in trials. James chapter 1 verses 2 to 4. These next two sayings have to be mentioned. Everything happens for a reason. Truth bomb. While Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says, God works all things for the good of those who love him, it doesn't mean everything that happens is by God's direct design. Some things are the result of human free will or sin, showing us that God can redeem and use even bad situations for his purposes. And lastly, the devil made me do it. Definitely not biblical. Truth bomb. While the devil tempts, the Bible teaches that we are responsible for our own choices. James chapter 1 verses 14 to 15. By debunking these common misconceptions, we're reminded to dive deeper into scripture and understand the true meaning behind God's word. Let's build our faith on his truth, not on myths. Thanks for viewing and please don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. Thank <laughs> you.